Yeah. Vito is coming up though, so we can work out what map we are going to be playing on today for this game. Is it still today, Jack? Is it still today? Technically still today. Yeah, okay, let's see if this one goes over there. Anyway, Fish123 banned Cash. Radix banned Overpass. They got absolutely demolished by it on Endpoint last week. Fish123 banned Train. They hate Train. They've always banned it. Radix are going to ban Nuke. That's fair enough. They're more of that mixed style team. They don't want to play versus individual players like Robin or whatnot on that map. Fish123 banned Mirage. It's quite questionable. They're not banned Cobble. Oh. I was scared for a second there. I thought they were just going to play yeah. Robin and Cobble. Inferno. Ooh. Do you want to speak about Robin and Cobble? He wins. Sound. Robin does indeed win on Cobblestone. That's probably why they banned it. Yeah. That's why I'm glad they banned it. I was a bit... But anyway, the pick is going to be Inferno, mate. Yep. So, Braddock's and Inferno, who really knows at this point? They haven't really got the established AWPer. I think Neff is AWPing for them. Just trying to think. Yeah, Neff AWPing for them towards Arch. Obviously, on the Fish 123 fish side. Fish Unis does dress. <laughs> yeah, Einstein Dry Fish. Could have... Uh, dry Fish. <laughs> no, dry is three in German. Mm, yeah. yeah, but dry fish, yeah. Anyway, could have Sliggy open, you could have Robin open, you could have anyone open. You could be open for fish next week. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, Inferno, Fish 1, 2, 3, the uh, previous edition that Keita, they were so good on this map. They were really the first ones that actually brought it out in the last Premiership. I believe they were, it was all about Inferno and Cobblestone for them in the last season of the Premiership. And uh, obviously, it's a home map for most of them. It is. Good old Inferno, eh? So why don't we say this one's going to boil down once we get into the action. It should be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Are you though, Jack? Sure. <laughs> Fish one, two, three. Uh, I'm thinking a lot of aggression, especially with the lineup they're filled in today. Yeah. Thing is, they actually do have a lot more structure than the lineup we saw last week. Because obviously Sliggy's there, so Sliggy will actually be yeah, calling, calling rather than, I guess, I imagine last week Robin was just sort of giving them pug calls, just telling them where to hit. Sliggy will probably be in a little bit more hands-on in what he wants them to do. Yep, hopefully. For Radex, though, it's still just a, it's up in the air. It's for a me. bit of a mess, really. I mean, last week's performance, Dookie played, you know, got to be blunt here, played fairly awful last week, gave up so many rounds on the CT side, and uh, hopefully this week he can have a better performance. Yes, indeed. Hopefully he can, as we will get into the action very shortly. Obviously, quite an important factor into Inferno is the ninth round. Deciding what side you're going to start off on. You know, yep. This and Train, one of the more sort of CT heavy maps that you can see a lot of that coming into effect. Yeah. Um, well, actually, it feels like a lot of the times now, T side Inferno is actually can be won straight by the mixed teams. Okay, as long as you get early control of Banana, yeah, have a few players work towards mid. If you have map control on Inferno, it's not really a map where you have executes. Everybody should know by default the smoke for coils and the smoke for CT and the molly towards uh, second oranges. Right? Yeah. It's not that hard to coordinate. There's only really the execute towards B, and then when you go towards A, it's more just someone chucks a free Molotov towards um, pit. You might throw flashbangs as well towards a site. You might smoke off uh, Arch or whatever. But these are smokes people can do on their own. So mixing t and Inferno is actually a lot easier than uh, it used to be. Well, that is an interesting result. As obviously the action will be delayed slightly, Snods. But we will be Surprise. in shortly. It's still coming up. It's still on its way. It's keeping you on your toes with this, isn't I? Yeah. Inferno should be a fun map, though. Uh, I'm hoping for a lot of from interesting things from Radix more than anything. I think Fish wants you free. We see it a lot. Uh, Essentially, it's the same line at the majority of the time. This is closer to the core line that we there's normally no Keita, see. Though, is there? But yeah, there's no Baytham. There's no Keita. Oh, no Baytham. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There's no Baytham. Is it even, is it even Fish123 if there's no Keita or Baytham, though? Like, I mean, you've still got Sliggy. But we've got Sliggy. Robin's more of a, yeah. you know, he's a bit of a Fish123 staple these days. Yeah. In, got, in CSGO. Yeah, t sacks thrown back into the mix. Yeah, Zed's back once again. I was, I was trying. No, I was trying to think if there was a way you could spell Zed. But you know, like dog is God backwards. I didn't know if if Zed was Dezd, and then I was like, well, why am I going to say that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, mate. I just lost my mind for a second there. <laughs> I think we've all lost. I was mind. trying to get into the matrix and work out multiple ways to spell the word Zed. <laughs> There's only one way to spell Zed. I know. <laughs> so okay. Anyway, uh, moving on swiftly. Predictions for this one. Uh, I think this should actually be going to Fish123. Uh, even though last week it was a bit of a struggle for them, obviously the lineups are very different. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this will be more reminiscent of what we expect to see from Fish123. I still don't believe if we're going to actually see them make their way up towards the top spot, especially now with CEX being able to get themselves a 2-0 to zero, uh, lead in the actual leaderboards right now. Because they won last week. And wait, wait, week. Fish? 
No, I said CEX. Oh, right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I'm thinking now Fish won't be able to actually make it to top four because they're already 1-0 down and CEX are 2-0 up. Right. And they've still got to play a lot more better teams. Right. <laughs> so it's <laughs> unlikely Fish make it to top four. Wow, that'd be huge as well, considering as well the fact that Fish123 was a team in the previous season finals. They played at Masters finals. They play all the finals, apparently. And uh, it seems like as soon as Keita went his merry way towards Method, things haven't been the same. What can you do, eh? You take a Keita away from a, from a pie. It's a Keita-less <laughs> pie. <laughs> what? And with no Keita in the pie, it doesn't sell as good because there's no real flavor. Yeah, exactly that. Anyway, fights with Kevlar on the CT side, which means if a retake does occur, Radix Esports could be pushed back thin. Flash comes in. He can't land the frag. The thing he gets the first and the second as well. Two double entries towards that A, B, C, D, B side. B side. Yes. That's the one. It's Sliggy will fire away. Quite speedy there as he actually finds his opening frags. He'll switch himself out to the USP as well as he rattles off a couple of fast ones back in towards the smoke. Hoping to catch anyone off guard from that CT side. Does get a big tag off. Look at that. Neff on 18 HP. As they have got four players alive though. They're in good response as well. T-Sack will give it to Fazan. Takes him what? down. Oh, KPs! That's ridiculous as he finds that flick back on towards T-Sack. Two versus three. But look at the banana control here. Mo Kits as well on the CT side. That's a move fast. Sliggy. Spots up Capers now towards CT. If he gives away his frag, there's a chance here. Let's get the first one. Two versus two now. Zed versus Roma. Oh, Roma and Zed versus the other two. Capers takes the fight towards him. We'll tag them both down. They're going to have to jump on the bomb right now if they want to be able to pick this one up. Roma dispatches of him. It's all left on Neff. Surely this is unwinnable. Roma just takes the fight towards him and will eventually take him down. So, one to zero. T side winning that seed. Oh, my goodness, Jack. This has been a long night. You're not T's ready for this, are you, mate? You're not ready winning for the Winning the pistol on the first half, which means they go one to zero in the lead. Radix, are they going to go for the four spy? That's the question. And actually, no players there. Actually, as I've just said that, Neff has $1,800 in the bank, which means he can buy an orb into the first buy round. Shotgun bought for Capers. All I'm saying is, yep. who is angry? Wait a minute. He's a he's a Netherlands player. Who's missing then? Sam Duki, Capers, Neff. Bowden Meister. Martha. They removed the Swede and brought in a Dutch player. Angry, a rank G player, has good aim, flames a lot as well. But anyway, we won't go into that one. Dead Robin now. finds the f <laughs> dead now, of course. Finds the first frag towards CT. Man advantage, Capers here the shotgun. Might be able to find Zed in a little bit, but we'll find out soon. Sliggy takes down Dookie there as they make their approach ro uh, round towards the B bomb site. The rotate will be coming through. It's Neff and Fazan, but they actually opt to back off. Uh, Fazan makes sense to save here. Investment into the armor, and also that CZ. Neff, he could potentially try and get some exit frags on the board. Hope to do something, but it seems like he will just defend his teammate. Will indeed. Two Mac 10s as well. Frag onto each of those, which means into the next round, having five alive, they are slowly building the bank up, especially because they kept the SMGs as well. When they play versus the Folico on Radix, that's the round where they should, or the scenario, sorry, where they should be able to build up as much cash as possible. For Zan here, he sees that in Kevlar, trying to see if he can take a gun. Hopefully, Galil or an AK out of the hands of the T's, but Roma, with that Kalashnikov, won't give it away for free. Oh, it takes down Neff. He should get the follow up frag on towards Fazan, which would be detrimental, but unfortunately, oh, he actually does get the trade in the end. That'll be T Sack taking him down and come recovering Kalashnikov. So that is a very efficient round from Fish there. Only one casualty on a more Roma, and they scavenge the AK. Yep, AK is retrieved. Three Mac 10s now. Don't start, Jack, with a three of a gun. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying, if they win this, <laughs> that's 100% of rounds where three Mac 10s win. What? Well, anyway. Three Mac 10s to build up, build up as much cash as possible. We've got an HE grenade in the hands of Neff as well. It's looking like we move five players towards Banana. This could be a bloodbath. Oh, bloody hell, the nade does roll in, but they are actually able to push their way through. Robin will get the frags. Damage done all over the place right now with that Mac 10. Tests its way through three members. That is a huge cash builder. Zed will find a headshot as well with his Mac 10. Gruesome round there, Snots. It is indeed. Zed now has the Mac 10 in hands. Could actually save this one and bring it into the first Byron, but as I said, they chucks it away the very next day and brings out the five AK setup on that T side. Three to zero. Radix, C T side Inferno. We need to see some aggressive plays here. Some confidence from them because if they lose this round against the Rot on their CT side where their money's broke, they're constantly having to fall by with all the money they have. This could be a very one-sided affair. Angry here with Duki towards that B site. Seems like the core of the Radix lineup is actually towards the A site. T-Sack exploits potential lack of chemistry as he catches Angry by his lonesome. 
Do you ever think he uh, runs into awkward situations where he goes, hi, I'm angry, and they go, oh, what's wrong? And he goes, no, I'm angry. And they go, yeah, what's wrong? He goes, that's my, that's my name. And he goes, ah, oh, right. Do you know what? This is, this is really crazy, but my granddad had a friend called Pardon. Pardon? Exactly. I swear, I swear he taught you, every single Christmas he'll tell me the same story about the guy called Pardon, and everyone asks if he was okay. You sure you d your granddad weren't just, you know, <laughs> making a, a dad joke and just memeing you? No, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right. Aggression coming out towards the B-bomb site, though, mate. <laughs> Aggression from the cast as well, apparently. Dookie towards the B-site now, the lonesome defense towards the push coming in from the T's. Fans the first of the Sleggy falls back now, but the Molly is close. Dookie forced to fall back. Always a position where you can cause a little bit of trouble, though, if they push in at the wrong time. But luckily enough, they play it smart. Robin will find the frag on towards him, takes him down. As they already have four members situated towards B. Fazan is close by, but look at Robin's location. Somehow, Robin actually gets overpowered. Fazan with a very fast flick into this one, Snuts. Indeed. Three versus three. Keon Tanef for the AWP. Only a flashbang as well for utilities. This has to be a fast and clean retake here from Radix. They are low as well, so if they peek out at the wrong time, it could be taken down. T-Sack will fall. Zed tries to take the fight, but Neff dispatches him. The orb is reigning supreme right now. Cape is. We'll find the frag back towards Roma. They pick up the first buy round. They do indeed. Three to one will be the scoreline now. Radix taking the first buy round. It's an important one as well. Two players staying alive, so Fish123 still have money in the bank. They can potentially reset the money here. On the CT side of Inferno. Anyway, though. Round number five. Sliggy by on the AWP. Things are about to get hot here, Jack. Business has been served. I don't think you can serve business, can you? Not really. A service for business? That makes sense. Potentially. Anyway, Sliggy's bringing out the AWP. UMP onto Roma. Trying to see if he can salvage what's left of his bank account. If I got his wallet, no okay for him. And he's down to an SMG. Fast wishing here from KP speaking towards second mid. They're blind, but he doesn't quite land the shot there, Sliggy. Just tagging him up, though. Yeah, that's big as well. I think he wouldn't allow that tag, potentially could have faced out. Got the opening frags on the board for the side of Radix, so at least he did keep him at bay. So, 37 HP onto Capers. Still the open play for Slicky going towards apartments. This is aggressive play here. Neff, the the uh, opposite, AWP towards Arch, holding that tight ankle. T-Sack now, and Robin. Smoke off towards CT. They're trying to get entry towards the B site right now. It's angry. And once again, Ducky try and hold the line here. Boost may come in. They might actually be able to catch Ducky off guard here. Let's see what they can bring to the table, Snots, as right now they are just holding their own. Ooh, they do try and get the first frag. It is just a little bit of a tag over on towards Capers, it seems. Slow play here from both teams. Default from Fish123. They're expecting one of the C2 players to walk into the crosshairs or scope in Sliggy's case. t trying to see if he can get someone through the smoke. Ducky. Just waiting. Flash comes in from Angry. Dookie gets aggressive. Who's going to win that duel, though? T-Sack wins it. One player left towards Arch. Gone towards the B-bomb site. 2-2-2-2 two, 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 two set up right now from the CT side. Angry here towards CT. Eventually falls to T-Sack, though. Nice little frag from T-Sack, but unfortunately, he gets trades back by Fazan, leaving them with three CTs remaining. That's a fast rotate over, but look at the positional play of Zed on the lurk. He could be huge. We'll actually get away with one free frag towards Fazan as well. Oh, Capers goes big, but unfortunately, the nade will roll out from Sliggy and take him down. Neff spots out Zed, goes for the no-scope, and does punish. He does indeed. May have to go for the save here. The chance of winning this round with their money is so low as well. Risk versus reward in this scenario. Robin towards apartments should be the insurance policy here. Sligo the AWP as well, should be holding the angle. Flash comes out, he dodges that one, but doesn't peek just here, holding the cross here. Has Robin as well as his backup. Robin can spot the push. Ooh. Ooh, she licks him. Molotov goes out. Oh, he can't He can't actually save in the corner. No, Sligo desires anyway, so it's not going to matter too much. Robin is able to fall back. Wait, it's a kit. Oh, he could have this. They spawn into the smoke, he does actually have it. Oh, nice. No. End team. Bet T, bet T or. Excuse me? Can't remember that meme, mate. Mate, you, oh, <laughs> you do realise every single reference you give just That's goes fine. straight over my head. It's all right. Anyway, four to one. Fish, one, two, three, three rounds in the lead and reset the money from the CT side. Radex is going to be going for the eco. Two HEs. Are we going to see another big play towards Banana? It's looking like it will be. Cape is alone towards A. And apart from that, four players towards the B portion of the map. Early nade goes down there. Will tag T sack down to a little bit of HP. Knocks about 20 off him, which isn't too bad. Does respond as well. Look how low Duke he is. These nades are raining in, but they're not actually transferring much damage at all over towards the side of Radix. Robin seemed like he might have confidence to go for the early face. Finds the headshot as well. That's angry. 
can be very angry about what's just happened. Furious indeed, as he does fall once again, giving away the advantage, but then again, this is the round for Fish 23, they can build up their bank. No Kevlar, only the CTs, just a deagle onto Duki. And apart from that, the CT side, two on A, two on B. You're playing a split defense without Kevlar, just pistols. It's looking likely to be five to one for Fish 23. Trying to do some damage early on as they do go for the face with the Deagles here. They're getting the information, but that's essentially it. And the thing is, they don't know that the true play is coming towards the A bomb site. They're actually playing quite far back as well, so they wouldn't have uh, heard them storming down banana, I don't believe. So, T's have two smokes, 45 seconds left. This is the eco round, of course, so they're walking into the three man stack right now of Red X Esports for Zan now towards Arch. Spots on the first, gets the tag, but not fight the frag. Robin will be able to take him down with a nice little headshot. It's all on Neff to try and ward them off. This one we to get sidelined by Sliggy. The bomb site has been secured. And this is looking good for Fish123 here. They're going to be able to get that bomb down. It's just Ducky and Fizan left. They only have the Deagles. They can run the risk and attempt to go for this. But even finding exit frags at this point seem unlikely. Ooh. Somehow Dookie hits the shot, though. Takes down T-Sack. That's ridiculous. Four players staying alive on the Fish123 side as we go into round number seven. Robin has just one if the ADWP, but instead we'll drop over an AK. Five AK set up on the side of Fish123. Are oh, we seeing another eco here? Radex might be conceding this one as well, going for the quasi buy. Fairly strange, considering the fact that some of the players bought PT50s and Deagles. They had about 4,000 across the board. They could have bought into this one, but instead they're going to be going for the AWP setups into round number eight. They're going to be conceding this one, unless someone goes huge with one of these pistols. Ducking out towards Sandbags. Doesn't quite see too much. Spots out Robin, loses the jewel though. So one man advantage right now for Fish123. Very unfortunate there as he will actually fall down. Robin allowed to bounce out of there as well. Even though he's on four HP, so as long as he stays alive, he is going to be a massive asset to Fish123 into the late game. It's about the money as well. If he found that kill, it's, four, it's nearly $5,000 worth of investment gone. Roma, nice shot down to K-Piss. For Zano, the fast reply. This is a good position to be in for Fazan actually, with the armor and the CZ, he pushes out! That's so smart as he finds the opening frag. If he would have just landed one bullet on towards Robin as well, would have taken him down and left them in a great position into the round. Unfortunately, he does fall. Robin's able to slip himself in towards High Graveyard as well, so everyone has got themselves into good power plays. Once again, though, they haven't invested much into the round. They can run the risk and go for this, but it's still highly unlikely they do too much. Fish123 should have six rounds already secured on their T-half. They should indeed. One versus three in our left flashbang. And a deagle, that's all he has to play with. Robin on the 3k. It's on 4 HP, so the fact that um, Duki didn't actually find that kill is fairly uh, momentous. No, it's in the word. Fairly um, prevalent. Because imagine he found that kill, and yep. it was a 5 versus 4. You remember the play that Fazan had fighting those two frags with the, with the uh, CZ? This could have potentially been an upset round for Relics, but instead they do concede that 1-6 to six would be the scoreline. Ooh, angry, he's angry. He is going to be a bit angry about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, the double up. Oh. Production are happy, they're nodding at me. They know exactly what's about to happen. This should be 2-6. to six. In theory. In theory, of course. Not everything does work out that way. If the formula adds up, mate. If the Krabby Patty formula is secret, is actually that it's crap. Well, that actually... It's uh, Mr. Pickles Pickles. That's using the pickle sauce. Yeah. Why not? No longer casting endpoint, of course. But anyway, five rounds separating these two teams. Angry Ooh. tries to uh, get a little bit more happy and find a kill, but instead he will just see someone go past his screen. t -Sec now battling between him and Ducky. Tries to go back and eventually will find a frag. But fast reply there from Robin. Four versus four. Yep, nice response. Ooh, Sliggy does one better as well as he takes down for Zan. They now have a massive lead into this as Robin is able to take the confidence he has and storm in towards the B-bomb site, brute force his way for everyone, and leave them in a four versus two. Outnumbered and outgunned, Radix are going to be quaking in their boots. Does on the shot, though. Makes it potentially winnable because they have a kit. Molotov flashbang. No utility on the Neff. Sliggy, if he holds that CT position, the round should be over. But still they're trying to find exit frags here and go for the save afterwards. Roma here from behind, finds one. And now that should be the round done and dusted. Classic Roma coming from the rear. He's able to do an awful lot of damage. Nice headshots come out from him. We'll pick them off. Fish 1, 2, 3 continue their easy streak. Oh, the economy is still horrific as well for Radix. Yeah, this could be the eco coming out from them. 3,000 on these players. How many rounds have they lost in a row now, Jacob? Seven, I think. Oh, no. Uh, four, but yeah. I they thought, yeah, yeah, I've yeah. misread the situation here, mate. I've yeah, forgotten history. Mm -hmm. 
Eve out of the crumble. Mm. Anyway, four rounds lost in a row for Radix. They're going to get $3,400 as their loss bonus, which means they're going to have potentially double lot set up for utility and a full buy into the next round. But that's too late because Fish123, especially after finding the first frag, maybe the second as well, are going to be on eight, fra uh, eight rounds. Sorry. Oh, that could have been a nice bit of damage done by Angry there. If it's P250 close range like that, that was the perfect angle. That was the best setup he probably had before that weapon to do damage into the round. Doesn't work out like that. They're left with two players left on the side of Radix. Neff and Cape is. Sure, they've been hitting some nice shots, but this is way too much to ask. They at least get the information of where the bomb is, but it can rotate over towards B. Neff is there anyway, but uh, most likely he does just get traded out and Fish do pick up the round. Yep, the money is strong on the Fish123 side. If he can maybe try and get a frag, salvage a weapon or something, the problem is even if you play for exits, get one or two kills, the money is so strong right now on that T-Sub. They've already got eight rounds of the board. Things are definitely not looking in their favor. Bush coming in, they're just going to try and overwhelm him. They've read the situation, they oh, knew his location. Kill. But he did find one frag on towards Robin. That's probably going to annoy Robin a little bit as well. Yep. Hopefully these are uh, better players than he played last week, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. 5-7, um, close range, 8 yards, 1 bullet headshot. So, had a bit of a spam there. 3 players close to him and eventually, he connected 1 bullet. The math adds up. Maths. That's, That's it. Up. Yeah, anyway. Round number 10, 8 to 1 is the scoreline. Red X Esports putting us back onto schedule here. As they are 7 rounds in deficit. It's going to be the one AWP onto Neff and... Um, <laughs> new strategy, throw AWP at them. Yeah, that'll do the damage, won't it? I mean, if an AWP hit you in the head, it's with enough force behind it. Potentially at least 5 points damage. Yeah, that's something. For Zan boosted up quad, over the smoke you will find a frag. And then with a one-man advantage, Angry here. And rather quiet game towards B. He's been moved and shuffled over towards A site. Neff with the AWP has gone to back towards B. Let's see now. Molotov comes in. One minute turn on the clock. That might force a peek out from Zed, but instead it's going to be Angry to get the double man spray down. Luckily enough, Angry does step up, as you said. This is a good situation to be in now. They finally have a huge man lead over the side of Fish123. They can back off, grab the bomb. But how do they choose to play it out from here? Seems like they are going to be returning their focus towards that B bomb site. The two versus two fight will be underway. Actually, Fazan peaks, takes down Zed. It's all on Sliggy. What's big as well is the fact that there's five alive on that CT side and should have been four there. Sliggy brought the uh, bomb out to play. That is an assignment. That's actually... Uh... Oh, he knows. Oh, my God. That's really weird. He knows. Good cheating. He's an observer. You can tell he's an observer. He is the Sliggy. So, 12 to 6 is Robin's scoreline. Oh, Ducky once again. 2 to 9. He's not having a very good uh, very good game once again. We saw them play last week versus Endpoint on the A site. He threw so many rounds. So many 3 versus 3s, 4 versus 4s. He kept dying when he shouldn't, when he didn't need to. And today he's just not delivering in terms of firepower. Ducky with the AWP towards Banana. We'll put three plays here. He will with the, the shot towards Robin. And he can see he's not happy with that one. Chucks the HE out, goes for the reface, holding to see if he will walk up close. But it will be for Santa Fun the first. Fazan does get the opener and he gets the Molotov down as well. Unfortunately, the bomb isn't actually covered by it, so they can grab that and yep. back off if they want to do so. Bob isn't covered in their insurance policy. True. Third, fire, um, third party fire and theft only. Exactly that. So, angry here. Big performance in the last round, getting two frags towards Arch. Might have to see a repeat of that. The flush comes in from T-Sac. Are they going to anticipate the, the four man setup right now on the CT side? T-Sac does peak round. Angry's in location, ready to peek out at the right time, but unfortunately, a good one for one T Sack. Able to fight through and takes them both down. It's on Zed and T Sack into the round now, Snods. There's indeed Neff for the up towards B. No one's going his way, though, as they are actually shifting their gaze back towards this A side. Zed with the bomb as full HP. Yes, to find a frag here onto Fazan. Fazan going into the back line. Zed, if he's unaware of this, should be taken down, but Zed actually finds the flick. Will pop his. Head clean off. This forces Neff to start to rotate over, though. And this is where they're going to get pent in from both angles. They need to find the kill with Capers and get the bomb planted as soon as possible, ideally. They do have the Molotov and the Smoke to play with. Capers bobs his head up as well to get the information play. Knows the location of Zed, but here comes the critical Molotov. The catalyst into the round that could change things. Zed can't quite find the frag, though, Snots. Here's a Smoke, though. Could use it to cross, but instead Capers will not face. He will allow these T players to cross onto the site. Another retake comes in fast. 
This is going to be an awkward retake. They do have Molly Flash to play with and the all important kit over on Capers. Capers kicks it off as well as takes down Zed Tsak. He's in a one and done angle, ideally. It just depends if he chooses where to face. At the right time, finds a headshot towards Neff. It's all on Capers as he has to try and push in. Could be a quad kill for Tsak, and it is the round and the quad kill from Tsak. Huge play coming out there. Two to nine now. Radex money is in tatters. Ducky, 4,150. You can buy up into this one. The problem is, if he goes for an AWP, it'll be a glass cannon AWP. If he goes for a buy, no one else can really buy around him. And as I say that, they've got two M4s on the board, which I didn't anticipate. The reason they have two M4s, Jack, is because they have no utility. They have no nades, no flashbangs, no smokes on a map like Inferno. So things are very much one sided in favour of Fish 23, especially if the first fight goes in their favour. It's very true indeed as these nades are soaring through the oh. skies. Dookie on 6 HP as he gets away snots. How annoying. And green position as well. Ready to try and strike. Plays around the smoke. Trigger patience is on display. We'll get one frag, but not quite the second as Robin can retaliate, but they are a one man deficit. Four versus three. Dookie with the up now towards Banana. The bomber's welcoming his way. Roma. It's towards second mid. The bomber's actually just going to be running back towards there. They don't want to go anywhere near this orb in Dookie's hands. It's going to be both the M4s in play towards the safe side. Sliggy, the only player of HP has to go huge into this one. He has to find the frag on top. Bomber goes down, one minute left. Roma, 10 HP. Oh. Yep, just pre fire the angle, peak at the right time, takes him down. But if we look at the grand scheme of things here, take a step away from what's currently going on in the present, just look at the score line. Three rounds in their CT half, nine rounds for 23 on T. That is very, very dominant. Unless Radex do step up to the mark, have a good explosive T half as we were sort of talking about in the preface, then Fish123, as long as they do have a fairly standard CT half, should be able to lock it down here. Oh. Yeah, and the thing is, Sliggy is so good at orping on CT side Inferno. It's a map where the movement from Arch back to Quad, to Banana, to Apps, so impactful. Talking about impact, Dookie Zorp will find the first frag onto T-Sack. That's a man who's been playing so well on that Fish123 side, already taken out of the game. With just 1 minute 30 left on the clock for Zan as well. Towards the middle, find a frag onto Robin. It's the two international stars gone. Sliggy will trade back on towards for Zan, but Dookie was ready to strike. Zed also falls, and even though they were doing some damage, they were only barely chipping the surface. So Radix were able to stay strong and stable into that round and lock it down. Fish123 on the other hand now have a very, very weak buy. Just a shock and awe style player, I can imagine. Yep, it's going to be going for the fourth buy here. This could actually be uh, to their merit, though. A fast play with the Tech Nines versus the so far weak defense from Radix. If they win this round, Fish 1 2 3 have no money, so we could be seeing a 9 to 6 scoreline if they win versus the Tech Nines two rounds on the trot. Fast play towards B now. Here comes the rush. Storming their way through, going to try and take charge, but T-Sack instead will take the head of his brethren. Takes down Roma, Angry's able to get a double kill as well, make that a triple, as he is furious against the oppression that the T's are posing into this round. We'll pick them all off, one, two, three. It's as easy as that. It is indeed. Should be 9 to 5 here. Zed, double flashbang. 72 HP. Kevlar how many is what he has. Pete comes in from the CTs, Angry does find the 4k for himself, not quite the ace. Thanks to T-Sack getting the team kill. But nevertheless, nine to five now. This was eight to two scoreline. Radix study bringing this one back. Eventually, bringing it back to a more reasonable scoreline. Neff leading the charge in terms of kills. Dookie once again towards the bottom alongside Capers. And on that T side, T sack leading the charge. Should be on 15, but obviously they get the team frag onto Robin. Enough is enough though. Another force by comes in for Fish 23. If they get double digits here, they could spell the end if they win the pistol. Pete comes out early. T sack did have the AWP out, but unfortunately couldn't get the frag. Quick enough. Dookie strikes as well as he falls back. We'll take him down. Juicy little frag there. Hungry for more as well. We'll peek out and take down t -Sack. As it does just fall onto a terrifying trio left on the side of Fish123. They have made their approach over towards the A-bomb, so that's going to be that split push coming out. Utility-wise, they've got a bit of play with so fucking shit. Anyway, three versus five right now. Going to be the AWP on to Dookie and Angry. The Sam peeking from Pit, trying to spray down his players. This one, the first one, whips out the pistol, but gets dinked by the Tech 9. Neff will find the kill back on Ward Zed, and Angry chimes in. That is going to be the half done and dusted. dusted. Yep. I wonder who Robin does respect at this point. Yeah. I mean, his family, his own mother. That's the question. Who knows? Who knows? 
if you know, tweet us. Hashtag, hashtag ESL Prem. That was good timing. God, I worked that in fabulously. Did you see that? Yeah, no production on your Wasn't side, Wasn't even mate. calculated. Good yeah. work, guys. Congratulations. Good work. Hey. We're, do we're doing it. We're doing it. Well, that was fun. First half yeah. over and out. Second half coming up soon. Uh, Fish mm -hmm. one, two, three. They are leading with the score line. Yeah, nine to six, barely. Well, not barely, but they won the pistol. Radix managed to bring it back from an eight to two score line. Initially, it looked like a very one-sided affair. I thought this was going to be just a stomp at that point, especially when T-Sec won that crazy one versus two on just four, nine HP, whatever it was. We are, though, going to be going into the second half and thinking about that pistol on that CT side. If they win that, yeah. make it 12 to six. You've got Sliggy Zorp on CT side Inferno. This, this should be, potentially, the end for Reddick. So, we are into the pistol. Forces of Kevlar. T-Sec being the support player here with the Smoke Diffuse kit. I know Reddick's going to be rubbing his peak out and spot players towards second mid. Let's see if they can fight their way through this one as they have gone for that early um, information play and actually fall back. But look at Angry's location here as well. Just going to charge his way through. It seems a bit of an outburst play. Try and take that quad control. Slip out in towards Pit. Pit actually doesn't have anyone in. It was only Graveyard that was being utilised and Robin will fall. Tixat goes down as well, Snods. This is so awkward for them. They're all getting picked off. Roman will peek out for Mini Pit. Eventually gets punished as well and it's all left on Zed and Sliggy in the retake. Sliggy finds one headshot back on towards Dookie. He knows how to snipe with whatever weapons in his hand, but can Zed do the same? It's going to be hard for him to actually equalize this. That P250 in a good angle on Capers should pick him off of a single round, but it doesn't quite go their way. Does it indeed. Two versus three. No kit on the CT side. Where was it dropped? That's a big question right now. What's even bigger is if Zed can win four versus three. Zed unfortunately sidelined down there. Neff will pick him off. And they work their way through the round. At least they did get the pistol. That's going to be vital. They could now almost uh, equalize the scoreline if they play their cards right. Yep, could do. Pause coming in right now. Not quite too sure which side it is. In this game, though, it's been the 1-1 uh, in terms of pistols. Should be a much closer affair. It's going to be the force by coming out for Fish123. At the moment, three players bought CZs and Kevlar and whatnot. Well, I can't tell you no more. Oui. Oui. You've been hey. Jacob. Anyway, on that T side, how many SMGs are we going to see? We've seen one already onto Capers. We've got two AKs already brought up. Neff there, the AWPA, might go for a MAC 10 into this round. Could buy an SMG. Oh, sorry, UMP. For Zan, was he going to buy? Questions all to be answered very shortly. In the next episode of, that of the man. ESL Premiership. Oh, I was going to pull your plug. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Other uh, other ca comic book heroes are available. Yeah, I'll let you marvel on that one. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Hopefully, thank no you. one DCs from the server. Oi. Anyway, though, hero play coming out into this round potentially. Just pistols on these CT players. Slicky there with the Deagle. Does land a good HE grenade. And it'll be splash damage done to Ducky Capers. And a little bit done to Fazan as well. But three SMGs. Robin peeking towards Banana, trying to see if he can make this a 4 versus 5, but instead it goes in his enemy's favour. Angry getting the opening frag is going to be very useful to them into this round as they now make their approach down towards that B-bomb site. Sliggy, very speedy as he sprints his way over Snods, but uh, is he going to be enough to actually ward them off is the question. Exactly that. Sliggy with the Deagle and Kevlar. Get spotted out, gets the tag, but not quite the headshot. Just trying to hold his ground for the meantime. Angry just rattling off those pot shots to at least keep him at bay. He does wide face into him, but Sliggy finds the opening headshot. That's huge. Four versus four now. One minute left on the clock. What do the T's do? Sliggy is the only man they've seen towards that B side. They're going to have to be expecting two man set up towards that B side and two towards A, but instead, it's going to be a good read here from Fish as there's three players towards A. Yeah, walking straight into the unknown, the stack. Look at this close angle in play as well. This is so cheeky here from T-Sack and Zed. I don't see this too often, but it pays off massively. T-Sack is the opener. They didn't fully face as well, so I don't think they're aware of Zed's location. Zed should be able to get the trade back. He does tag them, but can't quite trade. Dink comes in. Sling as well, pushing down Banana. He's going to be coming for the flank very soon. What can they really do? Capers is such low speed. Might try and swap this AK over towards Neff, but... Zed does fall, still out to roam in the pit, and the frag is found. Yep, they do take him down as they're able to obliterate his head, clean off. Sliggy's finally arrived on the scene. He's scabbed himself a mat 10, not the best weapon to have, but he also gets sidelined. Unfortunately, Neff was in position by Boiler. He was doing a bit of work. He was changing up the Boiler, mm. and he's, he's heard something afoot. He's turned around, so Wild Sliggy shot him. Yeah, the Wild Sliggy appeared while he's changing out the, uh, the old pipes. But Mario. He was a plumber. Yeah, that's, he was a plumber. Was, yeah, that's the point. 
Yeah, actually. Yeah. You can have that one. Cheers, mate. 9 to 8 will be the scoreline. Once again, it's going to be the Eco for Fish 23, so we should be seeing a 9 to 9 scoreline. Oh, that's a good nade there. One headshot from the USP should take down Ducky. That should really be it. One frag found for Angry onto Robin. And that's your second as well. Double entry towards that B site. The B site's there, so they can claim the bomb, claim the site, and get any expense claims back as well. Yep. Submit that. Mm -hmm. And it's back to him. But obviously left in this one, a four versus three. As the CTs are forced to roam around, they have nothing to play with into their arsenal as well. It is a weak, a weako weak week. Is the name of this one? Is they're dead as well? Yeah. Deado. SMG coming out. Fight on onto T sack. Oh, that's a nice touch up there from Roma. As he puts the Roma into his name coming from behind. Really? All right, yeah, yeah. Fazan will spray his way through Roma, though. Puts an end to the Romans. The Romance. Was that what you were going for? What, as in Romans? As in Romance? Yeah. Nah. Oh, really? I was just saying his name. But I was also saying Romans. Because <laughs> Roma. You add some more letters on that. Roman. Yeah, what could you even spell with Roma? Uh, Roman. Romano. Um, help me here. John and Arisa. <laughs> Benteke, I don't know, probably some other names. They're going to push their way down towards this banana site. Let's see what they can actually achieve here. Sliggy and Robin do peek out early, but they get nothing. Exactly that. It's going to be no AWP to play into this round, though. 9 to 9 is the scoreline. First buy round here. SMG onto left. If they win this round with these SMGs, their money will be in such a good position. But they have to get there first. To stop them, it's going to be the FAMAS onto T sac and four M4s on that CT side. Zed, such low HP gets wall banged, actually. It's spammed, yeah. We start to see that wallbang happen so much more now, as everyone seems to be loving playing on top of quad. That's the thing, it's become a very common position now in the meta, so it makes sense that Spam's got more love recently. t stack will get the opening frag though on towards Neff, is able to fall back as well, but look how low they both are. Dookie trades on towards Robin as well, but luckily enough, Sliggy was ready. Oh, almost the frag through the smoke for Sliggy there. Close up, angry is. Actually goes to the smoke, he can actually flank now back, but the smoke is fading. Does Sliggy see him? Oh, does eventually. And we'll find the frag two versus four now as the remaining two players come in towards me. He had that foggy vision, mate. The smoke machine was on as the push now comes through. For Zan and Cape is storming their way up. Sticky's position a little bit awkward, and he will get overpowered. This is the full commit towards the B-bomb site as well, so it's a three-pronged attack on the retake from the CTs. t sacks the first line of defense. We'll rattle off a couple of pot shots, at least keep them at bay, but he has to wait for his teammates to rotate in. Key on to t sack This frag here is so important right now between Cape is. That's it. Now even more important, is the only line of defense left for the T. He's pushed his way in. Oh, he doesn't even find the frag. It's beaten out by ZUSP. He is going to be kicking himself about that one. He will be furious about that as the defuse will come in. Roma has secured it. That is going to be 10 to 9 as the scoreline now. Fish123 back in the lead. Took a while. Let's see if they can keep this momentum. Two players staying alive for the CT side means their money is not really in a position to start to build. As you can see, Sliggy there to buy up the M4. Eventually, we'll buy an M4. Doesn't buy um, a smoke. I think she buys a helmet. That's quite interesting. So maybe they think they're playing versus pistols. Maybe they thought they reset them. Maybe they think they're on SMGs. I'm not quite sure, but Sliggy will be lacking a smoke grenade. But let's see if Robin will be lacking his head because close towards Miss Three players. It's true. Will he be able to pull this round out of nowhere? Peaks out. Finds the first frag on towards Angry. Unfortunately, Sliggy will get taken down. They're still aware that there's only one man towards the site. That is going to be Robin that falls back. He's taken a 20 HP dink to his name. Smoke throws out, but they spot it. They know he's playing close to the smokes. They should be able to get the frag onto him. He played it smart, but they were smarter. Yes, they were. One man advantage right now for Radix. Vicky is 24 HP. Key onto T second rubber. Monotov as well, and a smoke grenade for him. Apart from that, it's his flashbangs on the CT side. And look at the nades right now on the T side. They can smoke off CT so many times in a row if they do get the bomb down. That's what's important right now. The bomb is not planted just yet. One minute left on the clock. Roma alone in pit right now. Zed towards Speedway, close towards Arch. Fast rotation towards A or B. The T's have chosen this B bomb site. T sack. We saw him go huge in the first half on the terrorist side. Let's see if he can carry it forward on the CT. Let's see what they can do here as the nades do start to rain their way in. T sack holding towards the back line is going to peek out and do a little bit of damage, but he can't quite land the shot just yet. Dookie's low, and he luckily enough will find the headshot towards it. This puts him in a good situation. If he would have got that second frag snod, this round still could have been huge, but unfortunately, he does fall. The smokes will go down. The T's are in good after as well. That could have been a massive shot from Vazan if he would have connected it. 
And Zed close towards Garden. They're trying to take the fight towards him. Three versus two now. Key onto Roma. And one flashbang on that T side. Smoke slowly fading. It's going to be the double play through Ruin. Let's see if they can make it happen. Nades go out. They've still got two flashbangs. You imagine Zed will, uh, Roma will actually flash and push for it. Good try as they find their headshots. It's all on Roma here. Finds two kills. One more to find. It's going to be on Neff. He asks the AWP peeks into him. Neff should take him down. He's aware. He's just toying with him, baiting him out. Neff might actually believe he committed to it, but he still finds the kill anyway. Goes for the peak and takes him down. Time was close there. Neff, wide space with the AWP. Does eventually find that frag. It's going to be 10 to 10. Money reset right now in the Fish 3 bank. So far, they haven't really been saying um, same. Haven't really been showing us the same level of performance that they did in the last season. I mean, last season the finalists, they were so dominating. I mean, I remember watching um, Vexed versus Fish 3. Robin had 50 kills in one uh, in one overtime. And here right now, versus Radix, the newly acquired Royals core. They are 10 to 10, and money is reset. They're going to go for the Force Brother instead. Three UMPs, CZ onto Z. And a Deagle once again onto Sliggy. Four AKs in the orb and strong utility on that T side. So you have to be favoring the terrorists right now into this round. Round number 21. You do indeed, as this player will be coming through towards the bomb site. They do have that crossfire to play. Sliggy's actually making a fair bit of noise, though, as he gets himself up towards boost. And we should be aware of that. He might really be able to pull a fast one on the snods. He won't indeed. Bomb is still towards T stairs. Neff is covering that one team. If anyone will get aggressive towards middle. One minute left on the clock, Sliggy boosted up towards first oranges. Can't quite see over the smoke just yet. Tease have shown some prepared presence towards Banana. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. But still, 10 to 10, 50 seconds left on the clock. Key onto T sack, so that is the silver lining here. But the longer this round goes on, the more you should be favoring that T side. The problem is, Dookie low HP. And then might walk into a stack here from the CT side. Two players towards Pip. T second with that UMP towards Arch. Gets aggressive but spots no one. He might actually go towards B site. And they are going to make their play through now. Sliggy near the main angle. He's trying to play anti flash, but he finds a headshot eventually. Dookie will take him down with a response kill off the back of his Kalashnikov spam. He is left on just 11 HP though, even though they have encroached towards the bomb site. Robin cordon off by the Molotov that will keep him at bay for quite a while into this round. Four versus four. Kill to T side though for the retake. Smoke double flashbang as well. They have to play about play around the kit. Duki is low HP, so they have the health advantage, but they lack the firepower of the rifles and an orb. Flashbang do, uh, does go in even, as they are kept at bay. This time they actually fight straight through the smoke. Roma gets the opening kill towards Kate Biz as he plays by Jenny, and the kill starts to rain in all over the place. Neff needs to do some damage with the orb, which he will. Claims kill back towards t -Sack. And Big. Closer than ever. Big round one there for Radex on their T-Sack. They should be breaking the money of the CT side, which they do. Pause comes in once again. $2,000 roughly across the board for all of that CT side. So there should be the eco coming to this round. Braddock should get to 12 to 10. And we have a very close game to our hand. Hopefully we don't see another five OTs. Imagine. Don't. Don't imagine no, that. No, don't. Don't imagine that. No, don't, don't, don't. don't want to spook you. Don't want mm. to scare you. Mm. Give me nightmares, mate. Yeah, edgy. So, it is going to be the eco round. Five HE grenades. Are oh, we going to see we a bombardment? Stat, mate. Yeah, a mortar strike. Mortar? Mortar. I'm talking three mid, two banana. Mate, oh, nope. We're doing it the other way around. It's not going to work. <sighs> Nearly. Close, but no cigar, mate. Nades come in. Did they find a frag, though? It's not looking likely. Wow. That is really anticlimactic. Normally, you push down after you do the nades. Yeah, because you can't see because the, the block vision. Yeah. Block. Instead, though, they're just going to allow themselves to be swarmed by the AKs and the MAC-10 of Capers. Let's see if you can find some frags and some money. That was pretty dreadful. Let's see how the rest of the round will go. Robin will get the opening frag, takes down Capers. Zed chimes in as well. That's on Neff with a Tech-9 to start to rip his way through. Fazan's up close to personal with the AK. And he is able to spray quite efficiently. Takes down Roma. Sliggy will respond as well, though. He's grabbed himself a weapon, scavenged it, in fact, as he is tagging them up. But Neff takes down Zed. They're in a two versus two. Make that a two versus one. It's all on angry now for the T's. He's getting pushed from behind as well. He needs to do something. It's now or never. Has to take the 1v1 fight. Spots out Sliggy, but Sliggy is too slick. Big round there, one. They win the full eco. That means they've already got 2,000 in the bank. You get the round loss, but not the round loss, but the round win bonus as well. 5,000 for all of these CT players. What I missed though, it was the two versus one, which means only Sliggy has money in the bank and the AWP as well was retrieved, so. AWP on that CT side on four M4s. It's going to cause 
Wait, did they force it? I didn't quite check the money. Was that force buy or is this an eco? No, they only bought nades. They bought nades oh, and Dookie. pistols. Dookie went for the force buy, of course. Maybe a little bit tilted and frustrated the fact they lost the eco. But still, Slinky finds the first one there. 5 versus 4, 11 to 11 is the scoreline. This should be a fairly easy round. A lot of money as well beat up here for Fish23 if they can have 4 alive. Yeah, just tearing their way through. It's fairly easy so far. Robin does have the angle on lockdown. Fazan actually overpowers him. So they've grabbed themselves some scavenge weapons as well. Luckily, t sack was in position. This has cut off the rotate, kept them at bay. Oh. Thing is, as well, he was 1 HP, so for Zan on that drive-by, could have actually taken him down after the sack for free, oh, yeah. and we could have been seeing a 3 versus 2 of the bomb now. But instead, we're seeing 12 to 11. Radix hit, slowly bringing this one back. t sack finally on 20 kills, Sliggy on 19. On the t side, though, it's going to be Fazan leading the charge there. Actually, no, sorry, Neff, 23 to 12. Angry was 0 0 7, but he's... Uh, I was trying to think of a of a thing you do that makes you happy. What makes you happy in life, Jack? Cast me in, mate. Oh. Angry's had a few casts with me and Jack, and that... Wait, what? <laughs> so, I think what's happened here is they both pushed, and the nades killed him. Well, friendly fire. Blue flag has been raised. As uh, Robin just... Uh, Kill Sticky. Yeah. Taking him out back of the barn. Mm. He's putting him down. Yeah, said, so look at the rabbit. Look at the bunny rabbits. It's like a my cement. That's the point. All oh, right. <laughs> you are slow today. I thought my reference game was bad. Slenny rather than Sliggy. Remember? Because his name was Lenny, the guy that pets the rabbit in a my cement. Yeah. Yeah. There well, we go. you're the Lenny and I'm the George. Four versus five now. One round advantage for Radix into this one. One minute left on the clock. And we are seeing. Tech 9 onto Dookie, but no nades. Just flashbangs and a smoke grenade onto Angry. So, what can they really do with this one? I know. He's more of tepid right now rather than angry as the push will come through. Robin will peek out though, but nothing really there. Seemed a bit off guard as he will be taken down by Angry. Zed will respond as he gets two kills of his own. Molotov goes down, but look at the location of the bomb here. Look where it's drops now. That's huge. Exactly that. Romo as well going to be coming towards Boiler. The bomb is dropped there as well. So, having two CT players here is massive. T Sack pushes towards Banana. They know exactly where the remaining T's are. The duel is won though by Neff. Fast reply right there, Roma. The bomb is down, 25 seconds left. What can you really do in this scenario? Roma's a Molotov as well. If you manage the bomb, the round's done. Exactly. It has to be instantly. The Molotov will go down as well. So smart. t sack tags on towards Angry. Fazan, 46 HP. He can't even push into it. Always have to run to risk. And he will grab the bomb. Can backtrack towards the site, but surely he just peeks. Finds a frag. And there you have it. Fish123 getting themselves ever closer towards Machus Pointers. Yes, exactly. Another pause coming in. They do not want us to go home, do they, Jack? If I had a penny for every pause we had tonight, I'd have 8p. <laughs> yeah. How much is a Fredo nowadays? 88p, probably. No, it's, not. it's like 15. It's like tw How much is it now? They used to be 20p. What was that? But now quite expensive. 25p now? 25. What? It might be 20, but back in my day, those were 10p, 15p. Outrageous inflation. Talking about inflation, though. Winning that eco round for Fish 23. Inflated the rounds to 12. They won this next round as well. They've broken the bank. 13 to 11. Eco now for Radix Esports. This should be 14 to 11. And potentially Fish 23, hopefully anyway, for our sakes, close this one out. It's true. Yes. CT side Inferno, obviously they have the better buy. Radix are going to have to do something a little bit wet and wild into this one. Something quite racky, uh, wacky, even <laughs> because... I mean, what are they really going to be able to bring to the table? We've seen banana pushes. That's essentially all they've really done in their ecos. Yeah. I mean, what else can you really do? You can go for the apps burst. That's effective. But it depends if a player's playing in. If they play double pit, that's effective. It depends if you get stuck going out of apps as well. <sighs> yeah, it does. Yoshi was never really happy about those. Yeah, ones. we'll forget about that epic land. Anyway, 24 kills. I didn't see who that was. Sorry, Jacob. What is the apps burst, mate? It was. Nef. 24 kills for him. But anyway, two rounds now separating these two teams as we go into round number 25. Yeah, Capers has got a flash smoke, mate. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Let's see if they can get out of apps. Well, there's a smoke there, which I couldn't do. Yeah, always a struggle. Nade actually does an awful lot of splash damage as well. There's shrapnel riddled through everyone's bodies as they push their way through into the meat grinder. Is it going to be a Radix soup? It seems like that is going to be the answer as they get absolutely churned up. Everyone gets taken down. It is a smooth round for Fish123 as they swimmingly swim their way through. Ooh, fast the words, mate. So, five players staying alive on that CT side means the money is slowly but surely starting to build. 5,000 on two of the players, 4,000 set as well, which means if they lose this round, they can pop into the next one. 
Radex, oh sorry, Neff right now thinking, do I go for the Glass Cannon AVP? AVP, am I? AVP? Am I European? Sorry. No. I've Orp. Orp, mate. I was bringing out some German earlier, but anyway. Neff questioning whether or not to buy the Glass Cannon. Orp will actually go for the AK. So five man AK setup Ooh. will mean Sliggy finds the frag on to Angry. And this time, some way, somehow, Robin doesn't actually team kill him. Always throw a nade to these, these fishes, is not they? Yeah. Dookie. Holding towards Banana. Look at this as well. So much of the map is smoked off right now from CTs. They can push down. They can rotate one player off Banana if they want to. It's good so far for fish. But that's if they want to, Jack. What if they don't? Well, okay, no, they, they, do. Do. Yeah, no, they, they do. They do. They, they should as well. Sliggy now towards Banana has full control of this, which means he can spot out a player full back in information. What nades has Sliggy got? Just a flashbang. So if he had a smoke grenade or a Molotov, that'd be perfect for this scenario. But instead, Robin will be rot rotating back towards Arch. And now he can watch the cross from Arch from Speedway. And he can have three players focused on apps and quads. So this should be a fish one, two, three round, especially because there's a one-man disadvantage, make it two-man disadvantage. But Robin eventually falls. Teague Zack is in this place, though, to strike as well. They're going for trade for trade right now, as it is just two men left standing. Capers and Fazan make their approach back round towards Quad. They are going to try and strike upon the A bomb site. Zed is in pit. He has actually been a very effective nuisance in the previous rounds when he plays from pit. And Rome's in the sights. They have the crossfire. Highly unlikely Radix actually fight their way through. They lose one man. It's all on Fazan. And unfortunately, he Fazan into this round. Excuse me? Fazan kind of sounds like can. So he Fazan. Because he can't. All right. Okay, cool. I'm trying to think of something smart to say, but my mind's just blown at what you've just said. I know. Yeah. Match point now for Fish123. 15 to 11. We saw this one merely an hour and a half ago, Jack. It was 15 to 11 to CEX. Yep. And what happened? They all left the server. On God, not confused. Exactly that. And we're seeing it again, Jack. The beginning of the end. Oh yes, the kills are coming out right now as they work their way through. Radix hopefully going to try and keep themselves alive in this game. That's what they're wishing for as T-Sack will go down. It's all on Roma and Sliggy into this round. Roma gets the information here, but will he actually have the confidence to push through the smoke? It seems like that is going to be the answer. Takes down one man, but obviously Angry was in position to strike back. They now know that the B-bomb site is completely open. Yes, indeed it is. Sliggy there with the kit, flashbang and M4. Probably going to be saving this one. It is much point, obviously. How much money has the CT side got, Jacob? It's on your screen now. Oh, wow. Well, I looked away. I l actually looked at Jacob. I looked at Jacob. Hi. And I've asked the question. I've turned back and it's there. Well. Great minds think alike. What can I say? I haven't looked at the money yet. Anyway, they can buy. Roma can drop an M4. Slicky can drop an M4 as well. t sack will get 1,400, so he'll get 4.4K, so he can buy M4, Kevlar, Smoke, Flash. So they'll have a four rifle setup, and then Robert can buy an SMG or probably a five cylinder. Or, Here imagine this. Break me, go on. They save, right? <laughs> yeah. P picture this. Three orbs, yeah? Picture this. <laughs> All I'm saying is they save. Give Radix 30 rounds. You buy two orbs and auto sniper. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, probably no, not. No, no. Not worth, really. No, it's not really. Especially considering that Endpoint did that and lost, so. Mm. 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 Do you reckon uh, Immy's already drunk by now? On the birthday. Mm. It is the birthday lad. Oh, it is the birthday lad. Shout out to Immy's 28th. Not there to celebrate, but we're there to cast it instead. Shame to lose on your birthday. But then again, he's always winning, isn't he? 15 to 12. Three rounds separating these two teams. going to be the buy. Wow, that buy is way better than I thought. Why is it way better than I thought? Did I go fully cuckoo? Possibly, mate. You saw the money. No, I didn't. How is their buy so good? I don't know. They're pushing their way for anyway. Sliggy is going to go for the first phase. Does get the tag off to take Angry down to 9 HP as they are forced to fall back. They are indeed. Angry, 9 HP. Furious at that one. Took as well towards Sandbags. Towards Sandbags, sorry, towards Wood. Oh my god, Robin? Let's manage to find him through the smoke. It's going to be a one-man advantage. Angry is low HP as well. It's looking like it's going to be shaping up to a 16-12, Jack. His name might be Robin, but he's no sidekick in this game, is he? Oh, you are fast, mate. Bats him out of that one, doesn't he? Hey. Hey. Kills will start to come through for Teetsat, though. That's a dirty double as he takes the fights in the alleys. Yeah, 4v2. 55 seconds of the clock. Man advantage. Well, double that. Two man advantage right now for the CT side. Mm -hmm. Nefit, desperate to try and find a kill towards his A side. Instead of Zed towards close mid, Bomb is towards T stairs as well. If Zed peaks in a little bit, might be able to catch K Piz. Looking the wrong way or walking back towards middle. Instead, though, instead we'll play this one nice and safe. It's going to be 
two to two setup on that CT side, two towards B, two towards A. Thing is though, none of the CTs really have any information, so if they get the bomb and go towards B, they could actually creep up on them. They could do, but they now are aware of Capers' his location. Capers will strike there, takes the head clean off of Robin at this point, and time has ticked away. So look at this, 13 seconds left on the clock, there is not much they can oh. really do. They're gonna have to sprint their whole oh. way in, they need to kill Sliggy on the drive-by. Ah, oh, they've lost, ah. it's over. There you have it, that is going to be Fish123, closing it out at this point. Neff can surely do nothing. Sliggy has cooked through the time. And Fish123 take the win. They do indeed. 16 to 12, so start off to be a uh, very one-sided affair. Fish